the Chicago Bears, biggest game in Chicago in a decade. And, man, they threw a party. And, man, they look great. And, man, they're on a roll. And this is an amazing football town. My wife's from there. I've been there. I discovered it later in life. I love Chicago. And the Bears are mostly about Matt Nagy. Okay, I said it. Nobody wants to hear it. As a fan, you don't want to hear that. You don't go to a game wearing a headset. You wear a jersey. You don't go and buy a coaching outfit. You buy a jersey. You want me to go on the air and say your players are amazing, and that's the story, and I'm not going to tell you that. Yes, Khalil Mack is amazing. And by the way, Akeem Hicks is really, really good. In fact, Pro Football Focus says all eight of your best players are on defense. This offense, though, is about Matt Nagy. I'm sorry you don't want to hear it. You want me to brag about your sure-handed wide receivers and your young and promising running backs and, of course, Mitch Trubisky. Come on, folks. This Bears offense, in 40 years of watching pro football, I've never seen an offense and a coach orchestrate an offense more brilliantly around a limited quarterback. It's an orchestra. It is motion. It is efficiency. It is beautiful. It's six running backs. It's eight wide receivers. It is a beautiful offense, and in the end of the night... 160 yards passing. That's, that's, that's coaching. Patrick Mahomes, far greater talent. Deshaun Watson, far greater talent. This is about Matt Nagy, and I'm sorry you don't want to hear it. There's two stories going on with the Bears. They have a very, very good defense led by one of the great defensive players of my lifetime, Khalil Mack. And the second part of the story is Matt Nagy. This is beautiful. I'm not saying Trubisky does not have talent. He's got a little Jimmy G but he can't throw as well. He got a little Russell Wilson, but he can't run as well. He's got a little Alex Smith. He's not that good at the line of scrimmage. He's closer to Dak than he is a superstar. Andrew Luck, his coaching staff just puts him in the pocket, throw darts. Drew Brees, his quarterback, his coach puts him in the pocket, just throw darts. Matt Nagy's game plan is telling you exactly what he has with Mitch Trubisky. We don't trust him in the pocket much. We're going to move him around. A lot of deception. This is three and a half hours of card tricks. It's illusion. It's fantastic. It is beautiful. It is an orchestra. <laughs> and the, you know, everybody's like, oh, the Rams have the best coaching staff. No, 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 no. Rams have better players. Rams wide receivers, they're, 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 they're better than Chicago's. Rams offensive line left tackle Andrew Whitworth is better than Chicago's. Todd Gurley is better than Chicago. Jared Goff's better than Trubisky. Rams, Rams Sean McVay's a great coach. But he's got some stuff to work with now. Chicago, offensively, it's guys. Some are better than others. It's Matt Nagy. And I know you don't go to a stadium with a headset on. And I know you want me to say, oh, my, our players are folks. You don't think coaching matters. You, you, you still watching football all these years don't think coaching matters. John Fox to Trubisky, McVay from Jeff Fisher, Saban at Alabama, Harbot, Michigan replacing Brady Hoke. You know, there's an old musical called West Side Story. This is Midwest Side Story. Okay, that's what this is. And I know it's going to drive you crazy. And you, know, and you want all this sort of love and stuff for Mitch Trubisky. He's a guy. Now, he's an athlete. Again, not saying he doesn't have talent. He's confident as hell. Uh, he, he, he's got a little bit of Jimmy Garoppolo, but he doesn't throw quite that. His ball dies at the end. Garoppolo's doesn't. He's got a little bit of Russell Wilson, but he's not that athletic. And he's got a little Alex Smith, straight line speed. But I don't think he's that experienced or that good at the line of scrimmage. By the way, really sad for Alex Smith, great dude. I think he's closer to Dak. But, but the offensive coaching right now in Chicago is one of the great things I've ever seen. It is just fantastic. Biggest game in Chicago, great football town in a decade. And I mean Minnesota walked into a snake pit. Minnesota and their quarterback, Andy Dalton. My bad, uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, same guy. Walked into a snake pit, snake pit, and and Chicago deserves all the love, but we got two things going on here: a really good defense with a superstar and a great head coach. Midwest side story. That's what this is.